today's video is gonna be my first eyeshadow tutorial with the new Natasha Denona I Need a Warm palette. So I posted a video yesterday that was kind of like a deep dive into this palette. I swatched all the shades out and then I compared it to some other Natasha Denona palettes. So you can kind of decide which palette is right for you. So if you wanna see some swatches and in-depth comparisons, I'll link that video down below for you. And then I also wanted to mention if you do wanna buy this palette on Natasha Denona's website, my code Angela Bright can save you some money there. I really don't have much else to say, but let's just dive in and get started on this eye look with this beautiful warm neutral palette. Palette. I'm so excited to create an eye look with this palette today. I love getting to use a palette for the first time because I can just sit down and use whatever shades that are speaking to me. So I don't know what today's look is going to be, but let's just get started. I did prime my eyes already. I used the P. Louise base in the shade number one, and I did set that with the translucent powder. I'm going to start with the shade Soft Spot on a crease brush, and I'm going to start by lightly packing the shadow on the outer part of my crease. And I'm using the flat side of this crease brush to do that. So I always place my brush down first where I want the most pigment, where this case is the outer part of my crease, and then I'm diffusing out all of the edges. Now I'm gonna pick up Mellow on the same brush and I'm just taking a little bit of that to soften out the edges of Soft Spot. So I'm blending up that shadow a little bit higher, more towards my brow, and I'm just blending back and forth to soften everything out. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more Soft Spot and just kind of touch that up right where I first placed my brush down on that outer crease area because I want you to be able to see this crease when my face is relaxed and I'm looking straight at you. So here is my face relaxed and you can see all that brown right there. This is a great technique to do if you have hooded eyes or even slightly hooded eyes like I do. Picked up a little bit more yellow and I'm just gonna run that through this inner crease area because I do want a little bit of color in here, but just not too much. I also wanna to add to, I am very, very fair today. Like I am the fairest that I get. So these shades might kind of really pop on my light skin tone, but I'm super happy with how these two shades are blending in my crease so far. Now I just gotta pick up the shade Homie. I was loving this when I was swatching it in my video yesterday. Now this shade is in a new formula. She's calling it Metal Gloss. It's supposed to be a high foiled full coverage formula with reflective dimension and supposed to give you a mesmerizing liquid like fit. Finish. So let's see. And I'm gonna place that on my entire eyelid. This shade is so pretty. I love just the tone of it and how it's a warm nude, but this is so sparkly. It definitely is a full coverage shade. Like it's kind of the opposite of her sparkling wet effect shadows, but you're still getting so much sparkle with this. Now I'm just gonna go back to that crease brush and I like to blend around the edges of my shimmer just to make it a bit softer. I might add more to the lid later, but I wanna move on to the lower lash line. On a pencil brush, I'm gonna go back to soft spot and I'm gonna run that across my entire lower lash line. And then once I get to this outer part of my eye, I am dragging that shadow outwards, kind of to connect to the shadow that's already out here. Now I'm also gonna take a little bit of mellow on that brush and just kind of place that right below soft spot. Again, this is just gonna help to blend out the edges and make it look a bit smoother. I think I do wanna add just a little bit of depth right here on the outer part of my eye. So I think I'm gonna try Vim just because it's slightly deeper than soft spot. So I hope it does what I want it to do. So I have that shade on my pencil brush like that. And I'm just gonna stamp that on the very outer part of my eye, kind of in that outer outer V area. I'm gonna do one more layer of this. I'm also gonna add that Vim shade to the outer part of my lower lash line. Okay, I'm happy with that. I definitely could go deeper, but I wanna keep it a bit softer today. I am gonna take a little bit of pep on a small angled brush. I'm just gonna stamp that along the outer part of my top lash line to give my lash line a bit of definition. Uh, 
Okay, just something soft like that. Nothing too much. Now I'm gonna pick up Fancy on another pencil brush and I'm gonna use that to highlight my inner corner and a little bit under my brow. I went ahead and popped on my mascara and lashes and for my lashes I'm wearing the Bright Lashes Nova. The Bright Lashes is my lash brand and what I love about this lash is that it's actually shorter compared to most lashes on the market. See how it's not super long? It's not going to overpower my eye and like cover all my eyeshadow. It's a nice and short lash but it still has a lot of fullness throughout. Here's the final close-up of the eye look. I went ahead and filled my other eye for short form content. I finished the rest of my makeup and here is the final look. I'm not surprised, but obviously I love my eyeshadow look today. These are the kind of shades that I love to wear. These kind of light, neutral, peachy, warm shades are so beautiful. But this eye look itself in these tones are not revolutionary. I have done like this exact eye look with so many different palettes before. So while this is another warm, neutral palette, I still think it is so pretty. These are shades that I personally love to use. Like I am fair skinned with blue eyes, so of course, I'm gonna lean towards this kind of color story, but I am excited to keep playing with this palette and kind of see how many different looks I can come up with. Like just off the top of my head, I do wanna do some kind of like brown smoky eye with this flash over shade. That's that new kind of like creamy powder formula. I of course wanna do a look with this multi-chrome cause this is like such a unique shade. But really the rest of like the light shimmer shades in here and these brown tones are shades that I like to use when I do my eyeshadow on a daily basis. In the next video I create with this palette will probably be either a two or three looks with one palette video so stay tuned for that it'll be up sometime next week but I would love to know your thoughts on this palette and whether or not you're gonna pick it up if you do decide to buy it on Natasha Denona's website my code Angela Bright can save you some money so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe